I'm backstage at the Webby Awards with Sir Tim Berners-Lee. Such an honor to meet you. You are the creator of the World Wide Web itself. Has it lived up to your expectations? Well, <laughs> the only thing that I, require, I wanted to do was to be a platform where people could be creative. And you look at what's happening at the Webby Awards, and people obviously are being really, really, really creative. So that it's, and in fact, it's great to have these awards where we can celebrate it. But like, you go online, and, and do you realize when you're going online, like, I created this? Is it something that goes through your head every day? Look, I didn't create it. I invented it. It's a really important distinction because okay. you know, a guy called me up, and he said, I don't believe that it's possible that you created it because there's so much stuff out there you couldn't have written it all. Okay, so I have stuck, oh, since then, I've stuck to saying I invented it. People, other people created it. It's been created by, hum, by you know, the humanity, who is you know, actually the 20% 20, the 20 of humanity that, that, that's actually online and uses the web have created the web. And the, the, out there at the Webby Awards, there's all these amazing people. The only job of the web technology is to be the white piece of paper, the blank canvas. So how does it feel to get the Lifetime Achievement Award now? Is this like your be-all, end-all of your career? Are you retiring now? <laughs> well, of course, it's amazing to come to the Webbies. It's amazing to get the awards. But you know uh, it, that if, <laughs> if that's all we have to do to retire, there's so much to, there is so much to do. Mm -hmm. When you think that, in fact, we do all these fantastic developments, and at the moment, only 20% of, of humankind actually uses the web at all because really? there's another 80% maybe. They actually don't have connectivity. They're in rural Africa somewhere. Maybe they do have connectivity, but their phone doesn't have a good web browser. Or maybe they do, but the websites out there don't work for them. There are lots of reasons why the web might not work, doesn't work for everybody. So we're starting a web foundation, for example, to make sure yeah. that the web is designed so that it will work for everybody to try to be inclusive, to try and get all of humanity connected. So how are you so doing that exactly? What is the foundation all about? Well, it's about the fact that uh, there's only 20% only of the people are actually using the web. It's about, at the moment, it's about realizing that, yes, economic development is really important, and health care and clean water are really important, but actually, those of us that do web stuff, actually getting information it's not just getting information to people, but providing people with the same creative medium so that they can do their own things on the web everywhere is also people. It's also very important. And it has to go hand in hand with the various other forms of development. Yeah, accessibility and literacy are two big things right now. Absolutely. People, the, when you go onto the web, it's a very text-based place. If you're illiterate if you're, you know, or if you have learning disabilities, you maybe can't use it. How can we change the web so that it works for more people? How do we do that? Oh, that's well, a big answer. Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, okay. that is the question. So the Web Foundation is set up to try mm -hmm. to answer questions like that. What are the favorite things, uh, your favorite things on the internet? What do you go to daily? Do you know what? One, oh, I've had various questions people have asked me. Okay, it's been 20 years since I wrote that first memo. And then people found out about it in the ensuing years. And they have asked me which, fav which is my favorite site. And I have never had a favorite because you just can't because there's so much good stuff out there. There have been some amazing things and some wonderful things, and people have come to me and said, you know what, my, you know, I saved my son's life because of information I found on the web. And so there have been some uh, amazing things, but uh, you can't have a favorite. But you don't have a daily routine? Come on, we all have daily routines. Well, okay, so my daily routine okay, is I, I, surf, I surf the entire web, and I, and, I, and I check out all the websites that are out there, and I see what's changed, and I, and I make a big list, and I sort them out, okay, in, in, into the, of the, the there are, 10 to the 11, right? That's, that's more, that's more, there are more web pages out there than there are people, okay? That's, that's the same number of web sites, <laughs> web pages out there as there are neurons in your brain. And I, but I make a list of them every morning, okay? Every morning I read them all and I put them in a list and, I, and then I read off the top 10, but I don't tell anybody because it's a secret. Okay, so what's better, being knighted or being given a Webby Award? Do you know uh, <laughs> the Linus cartoon where, these, where, where one, one says to the other, Lena says to Charlie Brown or something, you know, parents are so predictable, you can always know exactly what they, they say. Like, for example, if we take off our pictures along to them and we say, which is better, I can guarantee they'll say, well, they're both very nice, dear. Well, you know, they're very, both very nice, dear. Very nice. And on that note, thank you so much. It's an honor. The honor's mine. <laughs>